briefly. We have a live shot of the shuttle on the pad right now. They are uh, just finishing filling off the uh, tanks, and uh, that's one of the last movements you'll actually see on the pad before the shuttle actually takes off. During the seven days in space this time, the astronauts will deploy three communication satellites. They'll also hunt for a black hole in the Milky Way galaxy and also serve as a Star Wars laser target with an 8-inch mirror. They will reflect a laser beam over uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, you can see now that uh, they're starting to go into the final countdown. Uh, this uh, shuttle mission of Discovery will fly the flags of 27 nations. The crew, the international crew, is made up of a Saudi prince and a French astronaut, Frenchman Patrick Baudry and Prince Sultan Salman Al Said. Uh, the Saudi Arabian prince uh, will watch the Arabsat satellite being deployed. We're at T minus one minute and counting. They are now at one minute Office until the so launch of Discovery. Uh, they will also we deploy a satellite and catch it later this week. Uh, the total T price tag seconds. of this mission is $150 million. NASA was paid about $30 million to ferry the international crew and the cargo of satellites. Uh, the large delegations of French, Saudis, and Mexicans are at the launch site to watch it. You could. Uh, uh, see the cars seconds. lined up uh, along the launch area start. to it's watch this, the first Saudi and French ever to fly on the shuttle. Let's listen in now as they are down below 20 nozzle. seconds before launch. Is now underway. T minus 16 seconds. T minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Discovery has cleared the tower at pad 39, rolling around to the proper azimuth to place the spacecraft on a 28 and a half degree inclination orbit. All three auxiliary power units operating at uh, 100 plus percent of their rated RPM of 72,000 RPM. What you're seeing we right now is the of, solid, uh, rocket solid rocket boosters booster being contact. separated from the orbiter. The orbiter is on its own power now. It's gotten its ride Velocity on the giant handle, as they like to call it. And they begin their one week in space, where they'll be very, very busy. The international crew will be launching uh, several, three communication satellites, hunting for that black hole in the Milky Way galaxy, and serving as the target for the uh, Star Wars laser beam that will be fired up from the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Uh, they only had about a 10-minute window for launch. If they hadn't been able to go up today, they would have had to wait till Wednesday. They're scheduled to come back June 24th with a landing at Edwards Air Force Base in California. We'll be right back.
This discovery was the smoothest of the 18 so far and the most successful. Uh, three communication satellites were launched from the discovery during the seven-day mission. And they also, after a failed attempt with the laser being fired from the island of Maui, managed to track a blue laser more than 200 and 20 miles. The landing today uh, was questioned a little bit. Some high winds uh, were causing some problems and they had uh, some showers in the area. NASA was prepared to move Discovery to a second runway. But apparently that's not going to be the case uh, as it is started to clear up at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The international crew uh, conducted a news conference yesterday and uh, one of the questions was asked to the Saudi prince on board uh, about the problems going on right now in the Middle East and he said if the troublemakers in the Middle East could come up here and spend a few days watching the boundaries disappear between the countries, maybe there wouldn't be so many problems down below. The turnaround between this mission and the next one is going to be a short one. On July 15th, the 19th mission, which will be Space Lab 2, is scheduled to leave from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, another seven-day mission conducting scientific experiments. The majority of the things that were done on this one was uh, making NASA some money. The three satellites uh, brought in about $30 million of the total $150 million of the uh, total price tag of the Discovery mission. We can uh, see now they're uh, on their final approach uh, coming to the Edwards Air Force Base uh, dry lake bed. Uh, they're using that instead of the Kennedy Space Center because of some problems they had with breaking that uh, it's a little safer to put it down in California and then ferry it back to the Kennedy Space Center. That's 10 knots from the left. touchdown in a minute. Four miles from the end of the runway. It's 6,300 feet altitude. Sink rate uh, 192 feet per second. Airspeed uh, 290 knots. 3,000 feet altitude, 3,000 feet even. As the shuttle rolls to a stop, it puts another cap on a successful mission. The 18th so far of the shuttle program, uh, it will be probably another uh, hour, hour and a half before the uh, astronauts are brought out of Discovery. They uh, want to check uh, uh, around the spacecraft to make sure that uh, there are Houston, no leaks. Discovery, Houston, no immediate post-landing deltas for you. Nice job, Dan. Welcome home. Roger, thank you. And it looks like the, uh, the landing uh, went picture perfect. The view of the landing is a little different than what you normally see. Uh, they did use uh, a different landing strip, which gives you a different perspective as you watch it come in. So the mission of discovery is now over. Scientists uh, back at the Kennedy Space Center will be taking the Spartan satellite out of the cargo bay of discovery uh, to study the Milky Way galaxy and the uh, existence of black holes that uh, gobble up stars and other matter. It uh, is one of the experiments that they released and retrieved, uh, something that uh, NASA has been wanting to do. It gives them an opportunity if they need to do some satellite repairs to be able to uh, pull up alongside a satellite using the robot arm.